Welcome to another video about interminable rooms. Today I will talk about 4 entities that have changed over several updates, they have changed both their appearance and their behavior in the game, so stay in your place and come with me to meet these entities. And if you like my content, subscribe to the channel and leave a like, otherwise the A15 girl will be under your bed when you sleep. A221 is one of the first entities to be added in Endless Rooms, as well as one of the first to be removed. When the game was still known as A Rooms Fang Game, the entity would make around 1220 returns to the current room, progressively gaining speed with each subsequent rebound. It would only bounce back within a certain distance of the current room in order to, to avoid temporary blockages. When Entity Extravaganza Part 1 was released on December 17, 2022, the decision to remove the A221 was made as it was simply considered a knockoff of the old A183 mechanic, similar, however, it would maintain a speed constant. In the same update, it was replaced by the A245, which has mechanics that stand out more. A245, as commonly mentioned by various runners, usually starts at the end of the map, which is more commonly known as the lobby. However, instead of spawning in the lobby, the A245 spawns 3-5 rooms away from the player, which makes its travel much faster. Due to this, the encounter with the A245 will likely happen instantly and is unprecedented, making it impossible for the player to hide from the entity. However, Concealment is unnecessary because the A245 is non-lethal. Returning to the topic at hand, the A245 will travel in a straight line towards the last room at a remarkable speed. This is the removed entity A246. The entity started in the room in front of the current room, before moving back a few rooms and recovering forward, doing this a second time, but only traveling a shorter distance before disappearing. Because it is similar to the old A200 mechanic, which saw the entity only retreating into a few rooms before recovering to disappear, the A246 was also later removed in Entity Extravaganza Part 1 and was replaced by the A278 in this update. This is the A278 entity, it will appear on the ceiling of the room in which it spawned. His spawning conditions are quite similar to those of the A300 and Noah, only differing due to the fact that he appears from the ceiling through a portal. Once spawned, A278 will run across the room and descend in the opposite direction from the exit to the room it had spawned in. If the players are not hidden while A278 does this, he will instantly kill them. After you have passed a certain distance, the A278 will spawn. It should be noted that during this sequence, additional unique entities spawn, 
namely TLAB 278 and ULB 278, both of which spawn in similar ways to A278, although they have their own appearance and independent mechanics. ULB 278, like the rest of the A278 clones, appears out of wall portals and wanders aimlessly around Section A. However, the unique ability he has is checking blue lockers and opening them if a player is in one. If he finds a blue locker housing a player, he will immediately kill them. Once a locker is scanned, the entity will disappear immediately. It is slower than regular A278 clones, but is 0.01 faster than Lab 278. The Lab 278 works in the same way as the A278 and its other variant, ULB 278, multiplying rapidly and tearing through Section A killing anyone who is not hiding properly. What sets this entity apart from the rest is its ability to inspect tables, which means that players are unable to hide under tables, or, if we take into account the presence of ULB 278, not even blue lockers. So this means that hiding in blue cabinets and tables is no longer safe. This is Entity A120, before it was like this, and now it is like this, its behavior has also changed, its sole behavior was, it started in room 0 and run to the last door, once it did, it stayed there for about 10 seconds before crossing about 10 quarters of a turn, on his second rebound, he would wait for 5 seconds before recovering, then on his final rebound, he would skip his waiting phase, its new behavior is to appear in lobby, make its way to the current room, where it will idle for a few seconds, have a chance to spawn M120. After a few seconds he will come back and you can repeat the process a few times. His M120 minion has a very different behavior. He is spawned by the A120. He will shoot orbs in random directions. These orbs will damage players slightly. This is the A183 entity.
This is the A183 entity, its appearance before was like this, now it is like this. There were no major changes just the color changed, instead of different parts of the A183 being separate decals moving, its animation was simpler, in which was a three frame gif of his mouth opening, this was changed for unknown reasons. The old iteration of the A183 used to act similarly to the A221, in that it would spawn in room 0 rebound many times, in quick succession attacking a part of the map, and then return to room 0 to spawn, unlike A221. However, he recovered 12 times, maintained his speed with each rebound, and was much slower, due to the need for a remake. The A183 was temporarily removed in part 1 of the Entity Extravaganza update, he was added back in part 2 of the update, and can now go berserk and randomize his speed. Thank you very much for watching this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on the channel to help me, and don't forget, don't look under the bed when you go to sleep. Bye guys.